Welcome back to Gadget Beard. In today's video, we have the OnePlus magnetic keyboard for your OnePlus pad. Gadget Beard. Let's get right into it. So, typical OnePlus packaging. We've seen how they like to do it. Very nice and elegant and stylish packaging. You have the OnePlus logo. You have the picture of the OnePlus pad keyboard. This is considered the magnetic keyboard from OnePlus Pad on the back. We have nothing. Let's go ahead and pull that sticker to reveal the OnePlus Pad itself. Nice little pull tab. Oh, just hit the camera there. Very, very nice presentation. We do have the user guide, safety and warranty manual there all unfold. Let's go ahead and remove this. And the one plus magnetic keyboard itself. Nothing else is in the packaging, but the keyboard itself. Let's take a quick look at the keyboard. Now, one thing I did, you can clearly see is that it does not have a hinge like the iPad magic keyboard we all seen the magic keyboard with that matic with that hinge that makes it seem like your ipad is floating this is not the case here uh i know the image kind of did show it kind of looking like that but let's go ahead and grab the oneplus pad and see what it's all about so the magnetic it has magnetic points there and this is how it's going to connect to your actual keyboard and it's just going to go like that in place and it's a very very nice solid magnetic connection there and it folds like this very nice very good looking keyboard there one plus branding there the cutout for the camera back there is nice and perfect uh you open this up right you dock it you got a touchpad which is very nice and fluid let's go it is at 120 degree angle i believe that is the tilt angle to this now the the angle is not adjustable because of the way the oneplus pad sits on the keyboard itself as you can see this is what it's using to prop the oneplus pad in place the tablet in place is this style of hinge there it's not even a hinge it's just using the back of the case to kind of fold it to kind of prop it in place and then you have the connection there uh it has to connect there or else the keyboard's not gonna work then you got your nice touchpad here which seems very fluid it, it this thing is nice and fluid it's nice and clicky the keys are nice and tactile, very good travel to them. Um, I don't think they're backlit, uh, but they absolutely look very, very nice. Now, do you have to charge the keyboard? I don't think you charge the keyboard. I think it charges through the pad itself, so it automatically charges the keyboard through the docking pins. But this thing looks absolutely fantastic. Now, I don't know why it's showing that keyboard there when i have an actual keyboard so once you install the keyboard there is going to be a firmware update just make sure to update that and you know when i was actually clicking on the search bar the virtual keyboard will pop up so you have to go into settings as well you go to additional settings you go to your uh, keyboard input method and then you're gonna have to go under where it says um one plus magnetic keyboard you're going to click on that setting and then where you're going to have to disable where it says use screen keyboard on screen keyboard because you don't want to use the on screen keyboard whenever the physical keyboard is activated it just blocks your whole screen and makes for a weird experience so i did have to go into the settings to do that itself but other than that everything works and feels fantastic there you have it guys this is just a quick look at 
the OnePlus magnetic keyboard. I think it's an excellent accessory for your OnePlus pad if you went ahead and picked up the OnePlus pad. I think it's gonna set you back about $150. Nothing really bad about it though. It looks very good, it's nice and functional. I like the pad itself. The keys on the keyboard are nice and tactile. They have good travel and everything. Feels good, just the perfect size. We will be doing a comparison later on against the iPad Magic Keyboard to see which keyboard reams supreme. So without further ado, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And like always, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.